Hello, Saxons. I'm Ethan Speck. And I'm Zach Aldrich. And welcome back, everyone, to Saxon News. First off, of course, we have a list of things you need to know. Number one, early last week, Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un arrived in Vietnam for their second peace summit. But the summit was cut short after a major disagreement, and both of them walked out. Previously, the two leaders came together to discuss the sanctions the U.S. and U.N. put on North Korea and the nation's development of nuclear weapons. The second summit was sure to continue those discussions, and it was speculated by many that the two may bring the Korean War to an official end. But after Un demanded full abolishment of all of the sanctions, and Trump demanded a major disarmament of nuclear elements, the two could not come to an agreement. With that, there was nothing left to do, and so both leaders left the summit with Un considering Trump's askings. We'll update you Saxons further if the story develops. Online content creators uh, and media sites have seemingly yet to feel the predicted effects of Article 13 and 11. Articles 11 and 13 are two pieces of legislation passed in Europe in the latter part of last year. Even before its passing, it was controversial due to its language that was accused of being too vague and an outlet for larger corporations to exploit and allow them to censor all online content that included copyrighted material, which has been cited as a clear violation of fair use and safe harbor laws. Since its passing, these predicted effects have not come into play, but many believe they will soon. And in more local news, and for you few Saxons out there that haven't heard of it, Amtrak's Coast Starlight train was going to go to Seattle, or from Seattle all the way to Los Angeles on Sunday. But at around 6.20, a train carrying 183 people were stopped suddenly after a tree fell on the tracks near Eugene. The people at Union Pacific decided it would be best if the passengers on board held tight and waited for the tracks to be cleared as electricity was in Oak Ridge. The Union Pacific spokesman, Tim McMahon, was stated in the Statesman Journal that crews are clearing the track and were expected to reach the train by 6 a.m. Pacific Central Time, Tuesday. He says the train will move back to Eugene and Portland, and on Tuesday, the ordeal ended. Luckily, there was enough food on board to last the passengers through the 36 hours. Many of the people attributed their fellow passengers as being nice and pulling together to help each other through the experience. Like we said, the train was unstuck on Tuesday and, and even arrived in Los Angeles the same day. Nobody was injured and they all got off safely. South has a new vice principal, Victoria Davis, resigned her position and will be leaving in a few short days. Her temporary replacement is Michelle Howard. Many of you Saxons uh, may know her as the school's behavior specialist. Howard will be working in the position until the end of the year. That was a lot of news. Well, here's Anna Karen with the weather. This week, we recommend dressing warm with the weather being at mid-30s and low-40s with sunny skies. But this weekend is a good weekend to get last-minute skiing in the mountains. And remember, the snow days we've had may affect us at the end of the school year. But for now, make sure to stay warm. Back to Zach. Thanks, Anna Karen. Twelve schools will receive the First Amendment Press Award, including our own South Salem High School. The award is given to, this, to schools to, that embrace the importance of the First Amendment. A committee made up of members of the Journalism Education Association, the National Scholastic Press Association, and the Quill and Scroll International Honor Society decided on the 12th winners. We will list the schools on screen. Now, a ceremony will be held to honor the 12 schools on April 25th at the opening of Spring National High School Journalism Convention in Anaheim. We've lined up another interview, this time with the Super Smash Bros Club. Here's Anna Karen. Hey Saxon, so I'm here with Carson and we're gonna talk about the club keys. What is the club about? Um, it's Super Smash Brothers Club, or just Smash Bros or Smash for short, and um, it was a game conceived a while ago by uh, Masahiro Sakurai. I won't give you the full history because there's no real point, but the gist of the game is it's a fighting game, it's a party game, and instead of trying to reduce your opponent's life to zero, you increase their percentage and then try and knock them off the stage a la like sumo wrestlers. And the characters are it was originally Nintendo characters, but now they've expanded to all sorts of gaming icons. So it's a big crossover event. You got, you got a bunch of different gaming icons fighting against each other. What inspired you to make the club? 
Um, I just really liked the game. I uh, was told I should be a part of some sort of club. I was in computer club for a while, but uh, there's not a lot of interest there. N not necessarily for me, but you know, very infrequent meetings, and I thought I should start a club. And I uh, kind of tested it, tested the waters last year, near the end of the year, by uh, bringing in a console and playing after school a few days. And you know, people seemed to like it. And so when it became an official thing, it, it really blew up. Um, how is the club doing now? It does fantastically. We, well, I took down all the posters because they were outdated. Um, so, so we basically have no posters. We've only had one announcement, and we didn't have a table at Club Run, and yet we still fill a room. We, it's all word of mouth, basically, at this point, and I'm hoping to get more awareness out, but the fact that we can fill a room based on, like, no advertisement is really a testament to how big it's gotten. What Smash game do you play in the club? Um, truth be told, we play all of them. We mainly focus on the newest game, Smash, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, as it's the best. However, it's important to give all the games lots of love. Uh, our supervisor, Kenneth Miller, Mr. Miller, really likes the first game, uh, simply titled Super Smash Brothers. It's on the Nintendo 64, and I bring that one a lot. But uh, people all the time bring in the older games, Melee, Brawl. We have actually, we haven't played Smash 4 since last year, but um, I'm sure it'll make an appearance too. But yes, we mainly play Ultimate, but we make sure to give all the games love. So that's it for this club. Thank you for telling us about the Smash Club. And that's it for today. Thanks, Anna Karen. Well, Saxons, that's all we have for you this week. Until next time, I'm Ethan Speck. And I'm Zach Aldrich. And this has been Saxon News. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.